Thank you, Chairman. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Bernard. Uh, dear colleague, it's a pleasure for me to be here and to try to summarize a, a consensus meeting that uh, we had uh, with the EgoSlim group. The EgoSlim group is, uh, as you see, the expert group on oncosurge management of uh, liver metastasis. Uh, this uh, EgoSlim group is composed by oncologists and you have uh, on the left uh, the list of oncologists, of liver surgeon from all around the world, a colorectal surgeon, radiologist, pathologist, and uh, molecular GI oncologist. This uh, group uh, has uh, had previously uh, a meeting two years ago. It was on the general management of liver metastasis from colorectal cancer and this was published in The Oncologist in 2012. But regarding the last conference meeting, it was focused on the management of synchronous colorectal liver metastasis, which is, as you know, a very, very important problem with many different uh, possibilities. Is the primary tumor symptomatic or asymptomatic? Are the liver resectable or not? Should we use new adjuvant chemotherapy or not? Surgery in one or two stage, primary or liver first? And so if you combine all these different possibilities, we come to 25 potential scenarios. And so this is a real problem of clinical practice, and we have very, very few guidelines uh, according to randomized study. And what is also evident is that the situation of uh, the management for synchronous colorectal liver metastasis has changed. And from the classical attitude to go up front from the primary surgery, then to do chemotherapy for two, three months, then coming to the liver uh, resection, this type of strategy has changed because of the delay in starting chemotherapy in very diffuse disease, because sometimes the primary is asymptomatic, because uh, very often we have multiple liver metastasis, and so we have come to new attitude. And this new attitude, as you know, is to begin by chemo or radiotherapy, then doing the colorectal cancer surgery, then chemo again, and then the liver. Another attitude is to begin still by chemo, radiochemo, and then to do all the two sites at the same time. And finally, the third possibility is to begin by chemo, beginning by the liver, then radiochemo, and then finishing by the treatment of the primary, which is called the reversed attitude. And so the conference was built uh, to make a sort of overview of the literature and then to consider what we define as the four more important clinical scenario, meaning asymptomatic primary with resectable metastasis, asymptomatic primary with unresectable metastasis, then symptomatic primary with resectable metastasis, and then symptomatic primary with unresectable metastasis. And so the aim of the meeting was to discuss the different strategies of treatment, to try to find a consensus, and to publish the position paper uh, of all these uh, recommendations. We use for that uh, the methodology, the Delphi exercise, which is a method, as you know, uh, who aim to structure a group communication process. The expert answered the questionnaire in two or more rounds, and during the process, the range of, the, of all the answers decreased, and the group finally converged toward the correct, what may be accepted as the correct answers. So we send uh, different questions regarding to all, I would say, the, the, the management of this type of patient. And this is one of the questions asked to the, uh, I would say, the expert. Is synchronicity a sign of poor prognosis regarding the outcome, irrespective of the treatment? And you see that the vast majority of them thought that synchronicity is a sign of poor prognosis. And indeed, we confirmed during the conference that when we do uh, uh, liver resection, the outcome of patient with synchronous metastasis is lower than that of metachronous wound. Also, we explore what is today very bad defined. It is, uh, I would say, what is a synchronous liver metastasis? As you know, some papers these 
deal with at the same time of the primary, other up to three months, other up to six months, and other even up to 12 months after the primary. And so in LiverMed survey, we were able to show that patient discovered uh, with uh, total synchronicity has a different outcome. And so the more you wait from the primary, and uh, the best is the prognosis. And the consensus recommendation, according to this data, was to say synchronous colorectal liver metastasis has less favorable cancer biology and expected survival than metachronous. Synchronous metastasis should be termed synchronously detected, which means at or before diagnosis of the primary tumor. Then come early metachronous metastasis, up to 12 months from diagnosis or treatment of the primary, and then come the late metachronos, which mean more than 12 months after surgery of the primary. And so these will have the advantage to try to harmonize the different definition in the literature. With regard to the role of imaging in the detection of synchronous liver metastasis, it's not so different to that of metachronos. It was said that initial CT at high dose is the gold standard. If initially resectable, we need a liver MRI as an additional tool. PET-CT may be useful for undetected extrahepatic disease, particularly for patients with recurrent disease or high tumor load. And with regard to the evaluation of response, the mandatory information that could come from the radiologist are first response on size and morphological criteria if the patient has received anti-VEGF therapy, assessment of steatosis and sign of portal hypertension, possibly related to the toxicity of some uh, chemotherapy drug, evaluation of the future liver remnant in the preoperative setting, and liver MRI may be useful in case of steatosis, but it is unclear for routine use to compare the evolution of the disease. With regard now to the chemotherapy regimen for synchronous uh, liver metastasis, the recommendations were as followed. All but one panel member favored first-line chemotherapy for patients with even potentially resectable synchronous liver metastasis, rather than to go to a front surgery. Optimal chemotherapy means doublets combined with targeted therapy, triplets or triplets combined with targeted therapy. No use of targeted therapy was advised for resectable liver metastasis. At least four courses with second line in case of progression or stable disease, meaning that conversion to resectability should be the goal of the medical team. Optimal time for assessment of response is two months, four courses of chemotherapy, and overall duration of the treatment should be six months, including pre- and post-operative chemotherapy. With regard now to the surgery of the primary, of course, we have a very specialized colorectal surgeon, and the consensus recommendation was to consider that colorectal surgery should be performed by a specialist colorectal surgeon. Laparoscopy is generally feasible with similar outcome to open surgery. Synchronous rectal liver metastasis should be treated by preoperative radiotherapy recommended for mid and low tumors, but chemotherapy is the adequate treatment for the liver metastasis. When the sites are both resectable, we advise simultaneous resection who can be performed in selected patient with limited hepatectomy, not major hepatectomy. When liver metastases are non-resectable, resection of the asymptomatic primary without resection of the liver metastasis may, in some case, have benefit. This is still today very controversial, but the experts admit that a small benefit may exist even when the tumor is unresectable, is uh, resectable. Sorry. With regard to the surgery of the liver, the recommendation was to consider that simultaneous surgery 
should be reserved to both resectable sites, but with limited surgical procedure, only limited hepatectomy, less than three segments. Preoperative chemotherapy is usually advised to control the metastatic disease and to downsize the liver metastasis for resection. The reverse approach, meaning the liver first before the resection of the primary, it is advised after preoperative chemotherapy when the tumor burden is greater and combined resection impossible. But the group insists in not denying surgery to patients with stable disease after optimal chemo through specific technique used to increase the resectability, meaning portal embolization, resection combined with radiofrequency, and to stage hepatectomy. Regarding pathology and molecular biology, the recommendations were the following. Standardized pathological evaluation should include by all pathologists, size, number, margin, toxic effect on non-tumoral tissue, micrometastasis, and dangerous allo. The safe resection mean the margin are still a goal, and the minimal clearance of one millimeter is suggested. No identified biological marker can presently distinguish the biology and the prognosis of synchronous from metachronous liver metastasis. Tumor response should be evaluated through the tumor regression grade and or the percentage of viable tumor cells after chemotherapy. And the molecular of evaluation of liver metastasis is now playing an increasing role in the evaluation of the biology of liver metastasis with RAS mutation, who has presently a worse DFS and OS, independently of anti-EGFR therapy. For MDT, this was also a subject of a recommendation. We consider that a proficient MDT consisting of at least a colorectal surgeon, a liver surgeon, a medical and a radiation oncologist, a radiologist and a pathologist optimize the treatment. This is now demonstrated by some studies in the literature. The treatment should be considered as a whole from diagnosis to last treatment at the same center because the, the results are much better. Evaluation of the outcome from MDT should be done to assess the improvement in treatment goal because not always the recommendation from the MDT meeting is followed by the senior in charge of the patient. And now we come after all this general consideration to the different scenario. One of the first scenario was asymptomatic colorectal cancer and resectable synchronous colorectal liver metastasis, which is the, the group with, the, of course, the, the, the best patient. And the consensus recommendation was, by uh, maximal consensus, I will say, giving chemotherapy before surgery and not to go to surgery up front. For mid and low rectal cancer, radiotherapy is recommended with no one-stage surgery. For colonic and upper rectal cancer, no one-stage surgery for complex colonic tumor high-risk patient or major hepatectomy. And finally, one-stage surgery should only be considered to very, very selected patients, easy to resect primary tumor and limited hepatic disease. And you have here in liver med survey, in synchronous resectable cancer, in blue you have the liver plus colon at the same time and the survival after hepatectomy. You have in red the liver resected first, and in green the colon resected first, with a significant difference between this attitude and this both attitude. For scenario two, mean asymptomatic colorectal cancer and non resectable synchronous colorectal liver metastasis. Of course, the objective as a consensus is to make the liver metastasis resectable by chemotherapy. Chemotherapy, of course, should be administered first. No simultaneous surgery is advised. And if the metastasis becomes resectable, the consensus is in favor of a reverse approach, liver first. For rectal cancer, the best strategy advised is to begin by primary optimal chemotherapy 
then radiotherapy, and in the window between irradiation and rectal surgery, to try to perform liver surgery. Here you have, indeed, in patients with unresectable liver metastasis and resectable primary, you see that when you compare chemotherapy first and colon surgery first, you have absolutely no difference in survival. By contrast, when you compare the liver first here in uh, red, colon first here in green, and liver and colon in blue, you have a significant difference in favor of liver first. Of course, we should be careful in interpreting these results because sometimes not, the patients are not strictly comparable, but it's just a sort of uh, indication. For scenario three, mean symptomatic colorectal cancer and resectable synchronous metastasis. First of all, what is symptomatic colorectal cancer? Symptomatic is either bleeding, occlusion, or perforation. Bleeding, as a consensus, should not be an indication for surgery. Usually, primary chemotherapy may solve the problem. The indication for surgery are perforation, and surgery is advised to remove the tumor or doing a stoma for left colon, and stents are an option for occlusion but are reserved to easily resectable tumor in the absence of anti-angiogenic drugs. However, the consensus was for surgery plus or minus a stoma, then chemotherapy, and then, if possible, surgery of the liver metastasis. Finally, the last scenario, that of patients with the more advanced disease, either for the primary, symptomatic, and for the metastasis, initially non-resectable. The consensus was, of course, to do chemotherapy to make liver metastasis resectable. The use of stents was not recommended by the, the expert. Not doing simultaneous surgery, but if the metastasis become resectable, the consensus was also for reverse approach. For rectal cancer, primary optimal chemotherapy, then radiotherapy, and in the window between irradiation and rectal surgery to perform liver surgery. So all these recommendations have been submitted to cancer treatment and reviews, and we have uh, the happiness to have uh, this paper accepted one week ago, and uh, so it will be published uh, soon. And so in conclusion, to, to, have, uh, to try to have a, a sort of clear idea about all this consensus, we may say that for synchronous colorectal metastasis, when the primary is symptomatic, the consensus is, of course, to do surgery first or radiochemotherapy, only in case of bleeding. When the primary is asymptomatic, we have two different possibilities. The liver metastases are non-resectable. Everybody would agree to begin by chemo first, and then to do surgery as a second possibility, reverse or classic. When the, the, the colorectal primary is, when, sorry, the liver metastases are resectable, two possibilities, limited. At that time, in some cases, we can do chemo and then surgery one stage or delayed. But when it is extensive, chemo first is advised, followed by two-stage surgery, classic or reverse. I will just finish by also one important recommendation, which is also I would say for metachronous as well as synchronous metastasis. Sometimes we are faced with this type of patient, initially unresectable and probably considered by many experts as definitely non-resectable, because as you see, the, the, the tumor involves almost all the liver. But sometimes we may be faced after four to six courses of chemotherapy to such type of dramatic effect and Alberto Sobrero is calling this accidental hepatectomies, but what we observe is more and more accident today because of the efficiency of chemotherapy. And to avoid to lose the chance, the recommendation of the expert has been to wait for two months of treatment for assessing definitely the resectability of liver metastasis for patients. Thank you for your attention.